So hi guys, it's me Deepak and in this video, I'll be talking about how you can build your first TensorFlow Lite model and there may be two types of people who are watching this video who want to build up their first TensorFlow model, Lite model to use it in their Android studio or who are from TensorFlow and want to make, want to implement their models in the Android studio and they don't know anything about Android studio. So guys, if you don't know about TensorFlow, then uh, we will be importing few things here like TensorFlow, KDS, which is a high level API, NumPy, which have uh, some mathematical fu uh, functions that we'll be using like array and mm, random, and then matplotlib.pyplot for plotting. And let's first talk about how we are going to build a model. Our model will be a very simple one. We will be taking an input value and an output value. Because if you know about machine learning, we have inputs and outputs and we define the rule first and then we do testing. So first first stage is training the model. So for training, I'll be having input and output data sets, which will be a NumPy array. I have minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, five as input and output will be minus three, minus one, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. And if you see the here, the formula is actually y is equal to 2x minus 1. And uh, I'll be creating a model based on that will learn the rules. So here you can see I'm using tensorflow.keras.models of sequential and I will be having only one neuron here. So I'll be using tensorflow.keras.layers.dense unit 1 and inputs shape 1. So it's a very simple model. It's sort of like a perceptron. So if you don't know about perceptron model, we have an input data set and we have only one neuron and that will fire when it hit a certain activation function. I already have a video explaining how it works. So click right at the top and we have an input shape equal one. So this is our model and we will be compiling it with a loss in optimizer because then only we can train our model to be better because at first it's going to be completely random weights and edges so we want those weights right because we'll be taking a frozen graph when we are building a tensorflow light model so i'll be having model compile with optimizer equal to stochastic gradient descent and our loss will be equal to mean square error so what is mean square error you take the summation of all the squares and divide by the number and the uh, and stochastic gradient descent and the stochastic gradient descent is a downhill slope method which we use which we use commonly in machine learning algorithms as you can see on your screen it sort of works like going down the hill to get the minimi to minimize the error and there are other ways ways of removing the error which i will talk about in later videos so subscribe to the channel and here you can see I talk about gradient descent, which is a batch level learning. So let's talk about model.fit. I'll have xn, yn, and epochs. What are epochs? Epochs mean I'm training this model for 500. That means it will train and run this program for 500 times. So as you can see, there are some errors showing, and the error is because I have more. I, doubt, I did a spelling mistake, which was models, not model. And uh, there is uh, another mistake here that is 7.9. If you see the yn, I have written 7.9 not 7.9. There was a mistake from my side. So just go on the yn and dot array and if if you see this mistake. So if I do this, then it will work. Yeah, it's running now. You can see there are 500 epochs. So normally the epochs are not this fast if you are doing some uh, image classification or other tasks, but this is a simple one. So here you can see the error is, the loss is like 1.706 e minus 0 which is a very small number so if i pr print a model or predict and i have input value of 10 so 2 into 10 minus 1 which is 19 our output should be 19 and it's giving us the output 18.975883 so the error is very less and the, and the model will never give us a perfect value so mind you and uh, how many times you train it it doesn't matter it's never going to be 19 so let's see uh, another example i have a a 28 cross 28 matrix here you can see an image of 28 cross 28 and let i'll be using a flatten function to uh, make this 2d array into a single data set of 784 so here's the function function that i'm using here so to predict 
we will be connecting this to a hidden layer, which will be a layer of neurons. Earlier we used a perceptron model where I only had a one neuron. And here you can see I have connections drawn with every neuron with the input value. And like in the perceptron model, these neurons fire when it hit a certain activation value. So the activation value will be different for different neurons and then there will be output layer. And when I hit the output layer, I'll have active, act, uh, activation optimizers. So guys, this is the basic of TensorFlow and uh, let's build a TensorFlow light model and please subscribe to the channel guys. So let's see, we have built this so far. Now I want to save this TensorFlow light model, but just want to tell you before saving the model, you should first do a uh, First run the interpreter to test the model and here I'm not testing the model I'm just saving the model although in this video I'll show you how you do how you run the interpreter and test for random values so first we'll define a path where we're gonna save a model there are different ways to save a model I'm using saved model there are HC0 there are different methods of saving the model uh, I just want to say so I have export directory will which define the path where the art model will be save so I have tensorflow dot save model dot save and I'll define the model, which is models, and there and the path, which is export direct directory. It is export dir not model. I made a mistake there. So okay, uh, I have saved the model. Now I need to convert this model into our TensorFlow Light TF TF Light model. So I'll be using converter as a name. So converter is equal to TensorFlow Light dot TF Light converter, and from save model we will define the path which is our export dir so we will be passing that and uh, then we will be using converter or convert so we will be using tensorflow light model equal to converter or convert and it will store our model here and if i define the path of the tensorflow model file i will be using the save path same path where i, I was saving my save model which is name.tmp but how you save it is pathlib dot path and name tmp and why have i written f double o i don't know okay so tf light model dot if I, if I check the size of this file like i will write write with the bytes and uh, pass my model which is a tf light model so it will give me 792 which is the byte uh, for your it may be different i have seen some videos where it was different so let's uh, use the interpreter and test our values for some test our values for some uh, different random values so that's why i have import numpy early earlier so i using interpreter is equal to tf flight dot interpreter model so what i'm doing is i am passing my model which is a tensorflow light model and uh, I'll be in. Uh, I'll be allocating the tensors. So input interpreter dot allocate tensor. I'm stuttering saying interpreter. Sorry for that. So I'll be getting the input and output details. So I'll I'll uh, output the tensors. So i using input details is equal to interpreter dot get input details. And for output, I have the same thing. So I have passed output and input details. So guys, now we'll be testing our model. So we'll be needing some random values. So for testing the, for testing our model, I'll show you a page. I will link that GitHub page so you can read how these functions works. And you can see set tensors. You will be allocate, uh, getting the tensors, setting, invoking. There are different functions here and i would recommend you to re uh, read all these because a good developer always read and so first i'll define a input shape so for input shape i'll get input data and uh, input details and i'll pass the indices and sh shape in the square brackets and the next thing i want is input output equals input uh, i'll pressing two square two brackets so i'll testing it for a hundred time i'll be passing 100 random values and testing the testing it so first i'll be 
uh, input i'll first pass a i will first write a for loop here for i in 100 for i in range 100 and then if i write it like a input data equal numpy array and i'll pass np.random random samples and i'll pass the size of in like a I already find the shape to be input shape, so I pass the shape and the input data and the data type we float32. So np or float32, and uh, then I'll be setting the tensor uh, and setting the tensors. So integral draw set tensors, and uh, it will be input underscore data and uh, zero dot index index should be in quotes single quotes and then i'll be invoking invoking the function so guys i will recommend you to read that page to know the rules before we invoke we have to allocate the tensors and we have to set the tensors and so i will recommend you to read that page first before writing this code because it really helps when you write when you know what those functions do and what are the requirements before passing their functions so i have a tensor for light results equal independent dot get tensor so from the output details i'll load in the tensor result and tf result equal to model dot tf constant input so i'll be having constant values of from my input and input data that i earlier defined which was a random value so output data equal to interpreter dot not interpreter sorry it is a numpy dot array which uh, which has a test for result and i'll be storing it and i'll be storing input dot append so i'm appending these values for input and output and now if i plot a graph uh, for these input and output values okay so first there is an error here so i must create this error there are a few so the first is the index right that's not in single quotes and the details is double i it is single i so So there are uh, the main error being is the output or details where I have to put a uh, curly braces. So if I just run, now it runs. And there are now if I plot a graph using plot dot show, plot dot plot first. So we need to uh, in, uh, have the input and output value and r. And if I just plot this, so plot dot show, and if I run it, so you can see the graph. And if you think, if you see, it's like for zero it is minus one for y which is 2x minus one x equal to zero so y is minus one so i think the graph works i just want to tell you that if you are using google collaboratory you should use this function file dot uh, to download it so guys if you like this video subscribe to the channel like the video and add in the comment section if you had any questions about this thing i'll try to solve your queries